Hey, 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 what the heck? Sorry, guys. Yes, according to my understanding, I do believe that Njabulo made sure that everyone in this class leaves yesterday with a map. Whether you were carrying an auto photo or a topographic map, it doesn't matter. Yes, guys, as you were at home going through that map, you definitely saw that there are numbers. There are a lot of numbers in that map. And the numbers you find there are not just to decorate the map. Eh -eh, they are there to actually help us calculate the distance in that area or to actually understand the gradient of that particular area. All right, guys, so let's start by understanding our gradient. Usually we understand our gradient by looking at the contour lines, right? So these are our contour lines. Let's make some contour lines that are going to be coming through here, right? Right, okay, let's create these amount of contour lines. Yes, and looking at these contour lines, we can definitely start to understand that maybe this area it is very steep. Why? Because of the contour lines are closely packed together, they might be actually steep. And in geography, they would say, okay, looking at this area in that particular map, draw us a cross section. Give us a cross section of that particular area. How do you give them the cross section? Usually in your map or your, your test, they will give you a line. They will draw you a straight line that is cutting through this area that they need you to draw a cross section at. Then you have to have your paper, guys. It might be a plain paper, it doesn't matter. And look at this, this paper of mine seems like it's not going to be helping us in the highest situations, right? Yes, guys, but then not to say they always give you a straight line. Usually you have to take out your ruler. You have to have stationery when it comes to paper too. Yes, this is my stationery right now. You put your paper from point A to point B. Maybe they will say, draw us a cross section from point A to point B. Now you definitely know that you need a cross section from point A to point B. You place your ruler, you place, expect your paper, right? You make sure that where it ends, that's where you start. Then you say, okay, I'm going to draw a line there, right? For what? For this contour line. Let's give these contour lines numbers before we could start a uh, drawing them, right? Let's say this is our 20, this is our 40, this is our 60, this is our 80, right? Now we have 20, 40, 60. We know usually in a topographic map, the contour lines usually are far apart with 20 interval, right? With 20, they use 20. So you put your paper, then you draw another one, right guys? You draw another line here. But while you draw those lines, you must make sure that you also draw once you draw the 20 here, this side on A, you must draw another 20, another line on B, right? A and B, draw another line on B. Then obviously for 40, another line is here. And then for 60, another line is here. For 80, another line is here. For this 80, it is this side. And for this 40, it is this side. So now you have this thing. These lines will help you to draw a cross section when you are given a map and they told you to draw a cross section, you definitely know your cross section, right? Cross section, let's, this side, let's say this side, it is the altitude growing, right? And it starts from 20. So we say 20 here, and then here we say 40, here we say 60, here we say 80, right? But then let's actually make it, let's give them a bit of a distance, right? Let's give them too much, some distance. Let's put it here, put it there, and put it here. Yeah, so this is 40, this is 60, and this is 80. Yes, guys, now we can definitely know, looking at this graph, it will be easy to draw our cross section of this area using this very same thing that we have. How do you actually draw it? You first begin by doing this, okay? The first one, it is 20, which is the first one we, we, we wrote here, 20. You place the paper, then we know your 20, it is here, straight here. You put your dot, your 20 is there, and that fa other 20 has to be where? Here. Okay, let's make a straight line so that we could make here, right? So this has to be a straight line, guys. So we could definitely draw a better cross section, right? So now we know our first 20 interval is here, the contour line and another one is there. Then we put it on 40 this time. Now we want 40. 40 it is definitely this one, right? We put our dot here. And then where is another 40? Make sure that this paper it is straight. We put our dot here. 
Then we move to 60. 60, where is 60? It is here. We put our dot here. And where is 60? We put our dot here. Then lastly, we move to our 80, which is our dot here and our dot here. We are definitely flipping that. Yes, guys. Once you have dots, you can definitely already tell the gradient of this area. You have to just connect your dots. Yes, guys. You have to just connect your dots. Sorry, guys. You have to make sure that you connect them thoroughly. Yes, they must be thoroughly connected. And then here you might create just that head rock, any head rock you want to create. So this is actually the gradient using the contour lines. Now we know how the gradient of this particular area actually looks like. Yes, guys. So now let's move into map work calculations. Okay. Yes, guys, in order to calculate any map work calculations, the first thing to understand one, which map are you calculating? Which map are you actually calculating? Two, does the answer need to be in meters or in kilometers? Those are the most important things that you need to capture when you are reading a question about calculating anything in the map. All right, guys. So now let's create an example. Guys, and before I create an example, for you to better understand some calculations, I've already removed or released a lesson about actual distance. I'm not going to be touching a lot, but then if you watch that video, you might be actually be able to understand where I'm coming from because of I will only be continuing. So make sure that you watch the video which speaks about calculating the actual distance. It speaks about converting, understanding why we have to convert in order to calculate in an auto photo or in any map. Yes, guys, so this is our map right and in our map let's say this is uh, this is our post office okay i will try to remind you about an actual distance but then please make sure that you go and watch so that you could better understand where it's coming from so this is our post office and this is our trick station height we usually find these things that are telling us the altitude in that particular area right they are telling us the altitude so there will be a number on top here and there will also be a number at the bottom here this number on top definitely means this is the trick station number right they will tell you tell us the distance from post office to trick station number six maybe that's what they say and this is the trick station height. Yes, guys. The trick station height and the trick station number. Yes, guys. To understand more about them, watch the video I dropped before this one. So the first thing is you, you take your ruler. Yes, you take your ruler, you place it, right? You place it from this dot until the top of that trick station height. And from your ruler, what do you find? Maybe you are finding seven centimeter, right? Or yeah, seven centimeter. And the question says, calculate the actual distance. So the actual distance, it is the actual question, right? How do you actually find it? Seven centimeter, you found for a map. Then you reread the question. Does it speak about topographic map or an autophoto? If it's a topographic map and if they said the answer must be in meters in a topographic map, we just multiply by 500. Guys, to understand where this 500 is coming from, watch the video I dropped before this one. I do not have too much time to explain. Then you find your answer in meters. Yes, guys, I'm not carrying any calculator. Make sure that you are clicking that calculator. Yes, guys, this is definitely how you find the actual distance from the post office to the trick station height. Then maybe they say, okay, as you can definitely tell, this from this area, this is the area you need to calculate. Please calculate this area. Now they want a different calculation. We have not done the area calculation, so make sure that you start paying attention. So you know, teacher, I'm calculating area. You tell your teacher, this is what I'm calculating. Teacher, this is what I'm calculating. You make sure that your teacher understand what I actually calculated. Okay. And for area, you tell your teacher, teacher Mina, I know how to actually calculate any area. So you say the formula is length times breadth. Learn time spread, you tell your teacher, I know even the formula. Now you, you, are, you are even in the highest, right? And maybe you, you, you think this is math, right? Then you continue and you just place your ruler from here to here. Remember, the length, it is the longest part 
of whatever you are calculating the longest part so this is definitely the longest part than this one right so this let's just give it and maybe let's say this is eight centimeter and maybe this is four centimeter right now we have eight centimeter and four centimeter and you think this is met and you just say eight centimeter must multiply by four centimeter then you eh, we are done the answer here must be centimeter squared hey remember the question what is the question said the question said this firstly it is a topographic map that's the first point and also give us an answer in the meters so already here you are wrong everything is wrong you gave us centimeter squared and even if you try to convert at the last point you will definitely get it wrong so what do you do when you have to calculate the area you wipe this thing okay teacher i know the formula it is length times breadth right the length it is the longest part which is eight centimeter i'm going to try to put it inside the bracket because of i have to convert this centimeter into meters because of i want meters squared i want two meters that are going to collide right so it eight centimeter multiplied by which map is this this is our auto photo map and in our auto photo map to move to centimeter what to move to meters you multiply by 100 then you close your bracket teach i close my bracket i put this multiply here then i want this spread now this spread is four centimeter and i have to convert this four centimeter as well so how do i convert multiply by 100 why because of this is an auto photo map i told you to answer any question you have to answer yourself are they speaking about which type of map and what is the answer is it in meters or in kilometers which answer do they need then you say eight times is 100 what are we finding now it's converted this is meters multiplied by whatever we are finding it will be in meters then we said equals to this the answer that you'll be finding here and the answer that you'll be finding here it will be eight times 100 this might be definitely 800 four times this definitely is 400 definitely gave me the nicest numbers this was nice nice okay then it's 800 meters times 400 meters i definitely do not know that the answer has to be in meters squared. This is how you calculate your area. Meters squared. This is where you convert. You do not convert at the end. Yes, guys. This is not this is geography, not math. This is geography. You convert at the beginning. Yes, guys. Now let's continue. Actually, is there a need to continue? Yes, there is. Maybe let's say the question wants you to answer in kilometers. The final answer is to be in kilometers. How do you convert here? You have to convert this into meters, right? And you said times 0 0,1. Times 0 0,1. And definitely the answers here will be whatever you find. I definitely do not know which answers you'll be finding. But then the units will change to kilometers and the final will be kilometer squared because of two kilometers I'm multiplying. Yes, guys, as you can definitely tell, this is definitely easy, right? Make sure that you watch the map work lessons I dropped before this one. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. I didn't even tell you to do that, but then you know what you have to do to support this education. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. And remember, if maybe there are a row of trees here, there are a row of trees that are cutting through the row of trees. And the question says, tell us the distance of this row of trees. You know, you place your ruler, right? From point A, where it begins until where it ends. From point B, then you definitely know what kilometers or what centimeters using your ruler do you find there? You definitely find, let's say, six centimeters. Ah, the six is very small. Let's say nine centimeters yes that's what you are definitely finding so you said teacher i'm calculating actual distance equals to nine centimeters which map is this and what answer do they need which final unit do they need as a final answer they need me to answer in kilometers and this is an auto photo what do i say multiply by zero comma one or oh, actually this is a topographic map they want me to answer in kilometers i say 0 0.5 equals to whatever answer i'm getting and the unit will be changed to kilometers yes guys this is definitely how you pass your map work okay